the vampire right outside our door. Okay, he walked into our door. <laughs> Shalom, shalom, shalom. I'm getting ready to do something that I've never done before, which is um, a let's play. So this is my first time making a let's play video, and I decided to do the Genesis challenge. So um, I had watched a couple of videos. Actually, I just lied. I think I watched like one video about the Genesis challenge. Someone was doing it um, on YouTube, so I just decided to do it myself. And nine times out of ten, I would just post it to Instagram and not to YouTube. So, before I introduce you to my two little characters right here, I want to go over the story, the whole entire—not the whole entire story, but the story of the Genesis challenge and the objective overall. Here, cool. Let's go back to the shop. And you'll see Sims 4 Genesis Challenge. So, um, if you feel like you can read better than I can, which I'm pretty sure you probably can, um, you can just go to this website, Sim Sims uh, Community Info dot info, and um, or just type in in Google Genesis Challenge Sims 4, and you'd find it because that's what I did. So, let's just get into the story. It is due to economic decline and poor government funding of social programs, the population of many sim inhabited towns and cities have all but disappeared. Everyone has moved away to find greener pastures elsewhere, leaving their old homes nothing but a ghost town. Out of desperation to boost the population and to get these towns thriving again, the United Nations has handpicked two sims who are willing to participate in a repopulation program, tasking them with bringing the population back through uh, natural procreation while living the best while living the best, most fulfilling lives they possibly can. The project's name, Operation uh, BFAM, Be Fruitful and Multiply. I love that. The subjects, Adam and Eve. So the objective is start with two sims, one that can become pregnant and one that can impregnate the other sim and use them to fill a completely empty world. The challenge ends when every house... Ooh. The challenge ends when every household in the world is occupied by at least one direct descendant of your two original sims. Uh, it took me a while to read, but um, if you want to reread it yourself, just go to this website up here. And then we have some of the rules, um, the setting up, setting up the challenge, which I had already um, done. And then we have the rules down here. If you're interested in the rules, of course you can go on here and look at them yourself. And you know, if you want to make sure that I'm doing it right, um, yeah. Now scroll to the bottom is the difficulty level. So right now I'm gonna start off with baby steps, but hopefully I can complete this. I'm, I'm rooting huh, for this challenge. My whole objective is to finish the insane mode, which is to completely fill all of the towns with direct descendants of my Sims. Um, but of course I'm gonna start off with populating Willows Creek and you know see how that goes. So without further ado, I want to introduce you guys to my two Sims here. Of course we have Adam. And we have Eve, and I made their last names chosen because it was handpicked and chosen um, to complete this challenge. Or to complete their, their mission, I have to remember that this is their life too, and they're doing a mission. So right now, I want to kind of go over their, um, their aspirations and uh, just some of their traits. So for, um, what's his name? Adam start off with him so for Adam he is a renaissance sim is she a renaissance sim oh yeah they both are okay so with being a renaissance sim it says the sim wants to be good at many things at once so basically tackle many um I guess many other traits and skills um and right now they have they're both at zero so for Adam his traits are he's ambitious and he is romantic and I chose romantic for the simple fact that if he's going to be procreating with someone and they they have to start off as roommates they cannot start off married so in order for him to you know woo Eve I need him to be kind of romantic and then I gave him one trait that's not necessarily desirable which is him being paranoid 
um, you know, him feeling danger around the corner. I just did it, gave them two good traits and one bad trait. Just, you know, I probably should have randomized it, but yep. And then for Eve, we have her being self-absorbed and her being um, creative and family-oriented. Obviously, being family-oriented, that helps her, um, helps them procreate more. She would she would ha actually have the desire to have children and whatnot. And then creative. So those are her two traits. Now, with the two characters, these are the only two sims in town. I basically um, evicted everyone else because I needed to borrow their houses for this challenge. Some of these houses, I think, are just like filler houses. They don't really, you know, work or anything. They are just there to be houses. But um, for this challenge... I'm going to be filling up the houses and the lots, so I'll be putting houses on here. Um, some of the rules, like I can't really use a whole bunch of mods or anything. Um, and the only mod I really have, I have other mods, but they're small ones. Um, I have uh, MC Command Center. There we go. I was trying to think of it. I have MC Command Center, but I'm not going to be using that. Um, I can't cheat any money. And basically anything that makes the game easier to play, um, I'm basically not going to be doing. I'm not going to be changing the relationship between Eve and um, between Adam using cheats, you know. So uh, I guess we just go ahead and get started because I've been ram rambling and going over the instructions and whatnot. So let's start playing. really want them to get to know each other. Let's uh, start off with asking about the oh, they're trying to oh, they pack your in limla. Right. What are you talking about? You have to oh, girl. This is not the time. Kibaya, <laughs> Wabarani, Charib, Zabris, Kithara, Bobsini, uh, Nabora, Shazel, no, Fabane, Vobi, right Ibsa, Bibdo, Quest. <laughs> Xenoi Zant? For their, uh, Wasusa! For their mission and everything. Blanche Farben. Oh, let me talk to you so I can uh, talk so I can think. So basically, I evicted everybody out the town, but you could see, like, certain people, like, Nancy is right here. Nancy Landgrab and somebody else. Who he? Some dude. Is, uh, right here. So I evicted them, but they still exist in the town because I need other people to procreate with. Um, it's gonna be very weird, uh, having cousins do stuff, and I don't really think they'll do that anyways, and I don't want them to do that, that's weird. So, um, we have other people still in the town, but they don't exist in the house, houses. I, I evicted them. So let's go. Torb. Oh, uh -huh. Duba. Uh, quos. We zo Ah. Shandies. You know, these are their, their partners right now. They, they <laughs> need Ulaq to... Shusha. <laughs> Yum, uh, let me see. Gushal. Girls joke. Trib you know. Oh, whoopee gorge. Get to know each other. So that ah. they can you know, get closer and feel, you know, just, just more comfortable. With alloy. together. Oh. <laughs> you know, they laugh. And Parsigop for bae. Parvini. <laughs> Maranoi. Uh -huh. Impersonate Johnny Blavum. Judge Pimba. Uh huh. Pwibhale, and then let's Yabna, slip, Jungi Plavum, Paguna de Roy, Oblish de Boar, Sarf Somzo, Quink, Quink, Abba, ha ha! Command Center that we're not going to be using. Buna! <laughs> oh. Let's start again. Let's start again. Grosh. Suo Suo. Oh. A little child right here. Suo Suo. Floopy oh, Yaspa. Ship Noi. Little woman over there. Eh, Narble for boy. Zabris Fosha. No, we don't have a fish for competition. Sengula Yamishka. Um, he should or no, yeah. He shouldn't have photos. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> uh, I want them to really no, I... get to know each other. Oh, I know he's single. In the but just, oh, <laughs> but just ask just for the purpose. So, as y'all can see, this is a little starter home. And we don't have much money. I have, we have like $5,000, $6,000 almost. It's not really. Um, 
So for the first day, day number one, they are going to be spending all of their time getting to know each other. And so they can, um, I know we don't have to be married. Oh, clicking on the wrong person. Um, one of the rules is we don't have to necessarily be married or anything like that to procreate. But I want them to be married. I want them to be comfortable, you know, um, being around each other. Because I know Sims have a problem sometimes. Sometimes they just get uncomfortable for no reason. Even when things are going well. I don't know. Have a first kiss, hopefully. No. Larbin. Is the welcome wagon, please? No. Actually. Actually, no. They don't need to get to know her. I don't know who, who she is. Oh, don't matter. Oh, Yata Velk. Yes. Yeah. Shazzle. Are they gonna let me try for a baby like that? You know what? Let's try for a baby in the shower. Well, if we can do that right now, we. For me, I want to have as many children as possible for the simple fact that it's like. The more. When she's pregnant, she doesn't age. So I want to keep her as young as possible so I can have as many children. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me go back to talking. Um, I want them to have as many children as possible, so you know we can procreate faster, and I don't have to use a whole bunch of out, out, outside sources. Maybe if I can get everybody, yeah, maybe if I can get everybody, every one of their children, like, in. Hmm, I don't know about that. I probably couldn't. I don't know what is the rule of aging up, because I know when I watch um, 100 Baby Ch the the 100 Baby Challenge, um, other people play it. Aww. When I watch the 100 Baby Challenge, if they improve in grades or if they you know get better in skills or whatnot, um, they age them up and have them like leave the house and everything. So I don't know if. I'm allowed to do that. I don't know if aging the children up is cheating. It probably is. I probably have to check the rules out. Hold on. Check it for one second. So I looked on the internet for a second. I kind of paused the video. Um, paused the game. So I didn't really see where aging up your sim in this challenge is a cheat. I couldn't really find it. I don't think anybody really asked that question. So, <laughs> I'm going to have her check to see if she's so pregnant in the meantime while I'm talking. So um, but yeah, Dabo? I couldn't she see. So, what I want to do is kind of do like the 100 ba baby challenge uh -huh. in a sense that I've seen um, uh -huh. like Kelsey uh, uh -huh. and Peach K, I believe that's her name, has done. She's not pregnant. Oh, time to try again, sis. Right now, we need to put your feelings aside and all of that because um, you have a town to re repopulate. Repopulate. So, like I was saying, I couldn't really see it. And um, I think I want to do it how Kelsey was doing it. So, when my children, um, when my children kind of. Uh, improve in a skill or they um, mm. do will really well with their grades <laughs> I think Sweet at that baby. point I'm gonna age them up um, so if they have like A's and whatnot I'm gonna age them up and um, yeah other people outside like an elderly person oh she's an adult with white hair that's 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 good that's it it means wisdom so um, <laughs> Ooh, another thing I want to do right now, since they low on money, I want to maybe get rid of this wall. This wall is unnecessary. I want them to be able to enter the kitchen at, at any point. So let me see what it looks like. Actually, this whole wall is unnecessary. So get rid of this whole wall. See the kitchen. Get rid of this right here, and I want to buy them that trash can that makes the money. Oh, I just wanted to make sure that I was still recording. Okay, yeah. 
buy them that trash can that makes them money so that um, they'll be able to make money. I won't have, I can't cheat money into this game. can't cheat money into this game so I have to work with what I got and maybe have someone get a job she gets pregnant I want her to be able to stay home with the child so she could nurse the child take care of the oh. child and whatnot <laughs> so um oh. <laughs> probably Adam Adam will probably get a job take pregnancy tests and then while she's doing that I want him to come in here yes congratulations Eve is expecting there's Heaven going to be a new addition to <laughs> this household oh, no. okay <laughs> cool so I want him to come in here and I want him to cook is there salad can he make salad where's the salad at okay guess he can only make eggs and these fresh ingredients okay 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 this is fine and we'll just have him do family size uh. for <laughs> but yes we, we we got our first pregnancy right here let's look at her baby bump right yeah. here while he's increasing that skill getting that skill started what skills does she have Charisma. He has cooking and charisma. Okay, we can probably kick up her charisma by having her psych her psych herself out or up. Me. Gotha. Who so? Don't goop with him or about. Maybe acting, practicing acting. Wangle fruit juice. I just want her to be confident. Bamboo. Club. Nope, that starts big acting. The test what if kid off? Vuvuda, Holcomb, and Loy Runt. Acting is cool and whatnot. Bambufa, Oxnoid Vontu. Actually, Spinach reading three books. So they didn't even have a book case, bookshelf. So let's have them get one. I like this one. It's a little bit expensive, but they're gonna get a job, so one of them at least one of them. Step in eight. Endow Jiffa. Let's purchase some books. So right now we're at four thousand seven hundred ninety-nine. So let's just do so let's do all. I don't know what type of books it has to be. Let me see. Does it matter? Finish reading three books. Achieve level three in logic. So obviously we should get logical books. So they they can um improve that, both of them. Where is it at? Oh, here they are. So... If I get two, I'm gonna get two of each. I know that's probably just wasting money right now. I'm gonna get two of each. You're big. Have her come in here and eat. Have him eat. And then, read logic book. Then have her read logic book. Girl, stop acting. We don't have to do that anymore. You know what I have to do now. Little people walking outside. I don't know. I just be following them sometimes. So, the plan we have one little bun in the oven. And then, yeah. Now, I want to kind of go look at the town. Saving Gomez, or where else? 
So I just want to show you guys quickly that there is nobody living in the, the rest of these houses. Um, everyone's evicted. So this is their home right here. Empty, empty, empty. Empty, empty. All of these are empty. Um, I, and I did that for basically all these worlds. So I'm just going to go to Strange Boost so you guys can see. Empty. And then the only place I don't have, so basically I have all of these, uh, all of these worlds except for this, uh, I do not know how to pronounce that, Com Mount, Mount Como, or I'll probably get it later. But, yeah, all the rest of these worlds are empty. So, um, yeah. But as you can see, you see people walking around. You know what sucks about this challenge, but it makes sense. It's like it makes sense, but it's like if I have a descendant of one of the theirs in a house and they die, then I now have to fill that house. And it makes sense because that's the challenge. But it's like how many people are going to die? Like I'll have. Maybe I should try to do this like in a strategic type way. Like make sure that I have at least one child in this house from their descendant and then have the rest of the children move out. Maybe that's the case. Or I don't know. Yeah, maybe keep one at least one child or one or two children in here and make like a family in here with their descendants and have them have children and maybe have the rest of the um the rest of our children like move next door and then we'll start there so we can knock down uh willow creek person outside i don't know i was just like looking at people outside um so we're gonna fast forward this and then i want him to find a job because he has to figure out they have to figure out a way to increase their money See with the with the project with the um, uh, be fruitful and multiply project or program, they wasn't really given a whole bunch of money, and they have to kind of sustain themselves. So they have a lot on their plate. Why is she not reading? Uh -huh. So um, what is normally them the most money? Detective. Okay, so with being an actor, that makes like money her like gig but I have to stay on and I don't really want to have to do that what is going to play into logic maybe being a scientist okay that's 24 an hour I don't know if I want to be an astronaut mm. this one hill hmm. civil designer hmm. 31 hold up no I want something that'll play into his thing. Maybe we'll have him be a scientist. He's logical. He wants a logical job, so lab technician. That's where he'll start. And then he doesn't have to work on the Shabbat, so that's cool. Oh, well, kind of, but not really, depending on when the sun goes down. But, yeah. So in order for him to increase in his job, he's going to have to have two breakthroughs oh to yeah be promoted how do you have a breakthrough i have two breakthroughs do you need a computer for this let's put this in the refrigerator so it do not go bad i really hope i'll put a refrigerator in this one. open yeah there we go him go use the restroom <laughs> right now this is her first uh says second trimester in 21 hours so for the most part we we did a lot we got the sims in their starter home that was kind of already here when you guys arrived but got them in the starter home got them to get to know each other make a little relationship or whatnot um and
and we have our first pregnancy. So that's always good. Behold, We're off to a good start. I kind of want to put a little baby carriage in here. Pause for a second, someone just knocked at my door. Um, sorry, I had to pause for one second. Um, someone was knocking at my door. So, right now, I want to find a little baby crib or something to hold the baby. Oh, they don't... Yeah. Am I tripping right now? Or do I just need to go to the bed section? Okay. Get the cheapest one we can find. Rock a bag. Bassinet. Don't know whether it's a boy or a girl. I'm kind of excited about that. bookshelf right here. Let's delete that. Let's make some money off of that. I did not know I had a bookshelf right there. Let's put this one on the side. Anything else I should delete? Nah. Just to make it uh, some more money um, without having to work. We got like a big backyard back here. I like that. Well, behave, Bella, for you. Sit cheem. Caro Sambisi. Clem. Rubin Apala Chaba. Lord Prosh. Ask the be boyfriend. Yes. Shusha. Even though. <laughs> Lim Dim. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> Zone Spa. I know and understand Ooh. that we're just doing all of this so we can repopulate the, um, huh. these towns, these worlds. But you know, you gotta have fun while you're doing it. Get to know this person. Bombzoid dim That you're gonna be this big task. <laughs> with. Tork for you know, And as they're talking, they realize they, <laughs> Clever day they um, have Miss much more Stevie in common than they did. Shelsh. Grew up in a similar area. Bad bit day, Felka. Good base. Una turb. Sit pay. Being oppressed in this world. Nowzi ninyap. Serpido. Carzini saquinario. Hack yoin limla. Shibaya. You shouldn't put me in a in a circle cross. A X out or cancel. Boast about family. Zone spa. Share a big idea. Morongi. Dizzy Bobna. Oh, Moosh Bepso. Uh huh. <laughs> Washa Zabri. Buribi <sighs> Damse. Wabarani Zimze. Oh, yes. Hey, Yumi. Just boxing. Back up. I just want to take a look at the town for a second. I like doing that. It's crazy how we have cars driving by in this game, but we can't drive cars, and the world is not open. And you know what? I don't think I mind anymore that the world isn't open or as open. Yeah, it's not really an open world like in Sims 3. I don't think I'm really bothered by that at all. Yes. This is cute. Oh. Okay. So I use this mod, um, like the sliders, so that I can make the Sims different heights. So they were actually huh, kissing, Fiba. but you can't <laughs> tell. Is that a kiss on the neck, or I don't know? You can't really. They can't really kiss properly because she's so much taller than she is. You know, Planar. Oh, Jarbin Decor. Sheems the Belfin. Turinga. Moy Bean. I need them to. This is what I really need them to do. I need them to focus yeah. on getting done what they have to get done. Bosta. I need them to read the game books. Introduction to logic. Zelfie. Girl, get you this book right here. Is is I'm done having y'all get to know each other. Right now, y'all need to read. Why? Oh, I clicked on him twice. Shoot. 
Peru. And hopefully I have them improve these skills. Her logic skills. She hasn't even read the book yet. At all. Hopefully their logic will improve. Yes, logic skill acquired. Come on. Let's just get... Hold on. What they say? Eureka, Adam had... Cho oh, Adam Chosen had his first breakthrough and wrote down an idea for a monument. Momentum? Yeah. Okay, click on a notebook. Okay. Notebook or the... Oh, hold on. Okay. Let me see. Click on the phone or do I click on a notebook or what do I click on? Scientist career. Okay. No ingredients required. Okay. Okay. So I guess I won't. I can't really do anything with that. But I want him, both of them, to at least get to logic skill number level two. Um, what are you doing? I guess you're tired, but I don't care. Reread. Did you finish it? You didn't finish it. Oh, he did. Shoot. He did read it. He did finish it. Okay. Sorry. Read. <laughs> Logic 2. Did you finish the other one, girl? Let me see. You didn't, fin you didn't finish it. Oh, did you? Logic 3. Yeah, you didn't finish it. Go finish your book. Oh, she finished it on the toilet? Hey, I didn't know that they can do that. Cool. I know you're tired, but if you just get to logic level number 2, you can go to sleep for as long as you would like. As long as you would like. What are you doing? What are you doing? See, this is where I would use cheats because I need them. Nope. No, 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 no. I bet a vampire right outside our door. Okay. He walked into our door. I swear vampires be lurking. You have it in your pocket? Nope, you don't. You must finish. Logic number two gets short. But up. You need to finish the first one. I know you guys are tired. I know you're having baby morning sickness problems and all of that stuff. But I need y'all to... Y'all are on a mission. And while y'all are repopulating this, 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 these worlds, I need y'all to be the best that y'all can be and finish your aspirations. We need to get to just logic number two. Level two. I know you're tense. Stop acting that way. Okay. I see that they're not gonna do what I want them to do. So. Oh, is she gonna surpass him? Even though he got started first? Oh no, she's done. Okay. Okay. Sis. Pause. Have you come in here and eat some leftovers? Where are leftovers? I get leftovers. I guess she can go back to sleep. Um, so, this episode was a fulfilled full one, I guess. Um, so just a little recap. We had our two sims move into here, into this starter home, have them get to know each other, and they're having their first child one step closer to repopulating all these worlds and I'm now having them work on their aspirations um, as we speak not as we speak but because uh, she's eating and he's asleep but yeah so I thank you guys for watching me play this let's play um, and I hope to do a whole bunch more in the future and actually finish this challenge and you know do other let's plays um, if you have any comments or questions or anything like that that you want to ask, just go ahead and comment below. Um, anything I should work on, like 
you know, being more exciting in my speech. Um, I will try, but you know, I try not to be fake when I'm playing these because then it'd be not fun. Like, I don't want to be, ooh, no girl, throw that plate away. Nope, throw that plate away, throw the plate away. Throw it away. Like I was saying, I'm not trying to be someone I'm not, like, try to be all extra giddy and happy, um, while playing these, if that's not how I'm feeling. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, um, you know, like it, share it with other people so other people can watch it and like it, and these are our two people that's going to repopulate the, the world. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Yeah, you give me drugs and blood